waiting for this to start up you are wondering what we are going to talk about this is basically about the next uh, couple of weekends later the workshop that we plan to conduct. The idea is that you know you have spent a lot of time now learning about various subjects and you have also been teaching about those subjects. So the point here is now as a teacher <coughs> do you worry about problems like students not being engaged with the topic or students being only exam oriented or students not being able to cope with the syllabus you know. So as teachers all of us worry about these uh, <coughs> problems and many of us have tried ideas to tackle these problems in our class. You know, some people have created groups and had students to work in groups to so that the students who are doing well are able to help the students who are not doing so well. Others have tried various other ideas like assignments and you know things like that. So the point is would you like to know how to convert these ideas into a research paper. So that is the basic goal of this workshop. So <coughs> we plan to conduct a two day workshop on research in education technology. This workshop will provide an introduction to conducting research in education technology and it is like I just mentioned it is aimed at faculty who have used some innovative teaching method or developed a technology tool for teaching and learning and are interested in conducting an educational research study around it. Okay. <coughs> so the key reason for doing this is that there are two reasons. One reason is that there are lots of teachers in India who have these innovative ideas but we have not been able to provide them with a forum for sharing these ideas with other teachers or for being for or to get them to write it up as a research study. And the second is uh, since the past three years we have <coughs> been running this conference called technology for education and from the techno T4E 2013 onwards if you look at uh, the slide. So from T4E 2013 onwards we plan to have a separate track for the dissemination of such innovative teaching ideas. Okay. So that is the reason for conducting this workshop. Okay. And as a disclaimer let us say in the beginning itself that this workshop is focused on research in teaching and learning. So it is not going to address techniques for conducting research in core engineering and science. So sometimes people do mistake saying that okay, I, I want to know how to use XYZ simulator or I want to know how to do research in thermodynamics or something else. So this workshop is not about research in the core discipline. This workshop is only about research in teaching and learning. Okay. So the target audience as I just mentioned are uh, you faculty in uh, at the tertiary level in engineering and science and if there are PhD students who are interested in this uh, research they are also welcome to attend. And uh, maybe I'll just hand over to my colleague, Professor Sahana Murthy here, for describing the details of the workshop. Okay, hello. Uh, some more details about the format and the content that's going to be in the workshop. The dates for the workshop uh, are uh, February 2nd and 9th in 2013, and these are two consecutive Saturdays. And the reason we have structured it in this manner is that the week in between is also part of the workshop, even though we won't be here live. So there will be assignments, Moodle based assignments before the workshop, pre-workshop uh, pre assignments. There will be important assignments that you will have to do in the week between the 2nd and the 9th. And even after the workshop there will be some assignments. So the, even though the live part of the workshop is on the 2nd and the 9th, the actual work that you will be doing and the feedback that we will be giving will be spread over a number of, uh, larger number of days. In order to get a participation certificate, submission of assignments is mandatory. And what will be the content and the sessions within the workshop? So as uh, mentioned earlier, the goal of the workshop is to help you take an idea, an innovative idea that you have used for teaching and learning and convert it into a research study. And this research is research in educational technology. So there will of course be a fair number of sessions where you will be introduced to the principles and the practices and the guidelines, theory sessions on the research methods in educational technology. But 
equally or even more importantly, there will be a lot of practical sessions where you will apply these principles and guidelines and you will use it to solve your problem to address your ideas and so on. So, for example, uh, one of the initial things you will do in the workshop is to identify a topic for uh, this research study within educational technology. For example, you may be you may have developed a tool to help teach a certain topic better, a technology tool. So, how would you uh, implement this tool, how would you determine its effectiveness and so on would uh, could be one topic. On the other hand, you may have tried some uh, strategy in a large class to make it more interactive. So, that this is, this is what I mean by identifying a topic for your educational technology research. You will also have to identify which uh, domain related topic you will do your implementation and effectiveness study. There will be several exercises during the workshop where you will in fact begin writing, begin planning and even begin to write part of the paper related to your study. And uh, there will be a, a couple of peer review sessions where you will get feedback not only from us, but also from each other as to uh, what has what is working and what is not working. So, all this is part of the structure of the workshop. Okay, specific content, I will go through this quickly, uh, because I think uh, from the previous slide, it is more or less clear. We will cover topics like what are different types of research problems in educational technology. There are two or three different themes and different types of problems. One important or a significant time will be spent on how to read and analyze a research paper, because before we begin writing or conducting a study, we need to learn how to analyze the different parts and different aspects of a research paper in education technology. And then a bulk of the time will be devoted to talking about how to convert your innovative idea into the research study. And finally, the important piece which uh, closes all this is how do you and I mean how do you conduct uh, a study of effectiveness? What would you me uh, what do you measure? What sort of assessment instruments like questionnaires will you uh, device and so on? That is going to be another part of the workshop content. So, why should you attend this workshop and what will you be getting out of this workshop? Firstly, you will be getting a running start into doing into beginning a study or doing uh, starting to do research in education technology. All of you are domain experts and you would have tried some idea in terms of teaching and learning. So, now we are looking at how to convert the idea in teaching learning into a systematic research in education technology. Practically, if you do all the assignments and even continue beyond the workshop, you will be getting guidance on planning and writing a paper that you can submit to T4E 2013. So, what we are claiming is that we will guide you into how to get your paper accepted at this conference. It is an IEEE international conference, it is uh, this 2013 will be the fifth year of its running and it is being held in IIT Kharagpur in December next year. Uh, after the workshop, those of you who have completed the assignment, the top 200 of the completed assignments, you would get additional mentoring, one on one mentoring via Moodle. Uh, to complete your paper, to, uh, to conduct your study and complete your paper. And this mentoring would be given by the faculty, staff and TAs of the educational technology department in, at IIT Bombay. And furthermore, the top 10 would be invited to come here, spend a week with us and uh, you will get a lot of face to face mentoring, lot of time, uh, individual time on how to um, revise your paper, how to improve it. And all this will go on until the T4E 2013 submission deadline, which is approximately 30th June. Okay, thanks. TADA is included for the people who will be invited to spend time here. But I should mention that the third point where you get additional mentoring, there is a lot of individual feedback you will get here on how to write and revise your paper. So, this is quite valuable. If you have further questions or if you simply want to if show your interest in participating, you can sign up on Moodle, the link will be posted in uh, middle of January, Mukta, roughly around, around the 10th of January. And uh, as soon as you sign up, there will be a pre-workshop assignment and that is really important for you to uh, do before you participate. Any other questions or clarifications, please contact our e-outreach team. So, thank you. Okay, if you have any questions, please raise your hands.
if you have any questions regarding this workshop. Okay, this is Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Technology in Madhya Pradesh, viewer 1 to 7, over to you. Uh, basically, um, as uh, it is uh, indicated that uh, one has to sign up on Moodle, uh, the link will be available on 1st January. So, uh, and uh, that is a pre-workshop assignment. So, whether the workshop assignment will also be uh, there on the Moodle? Okay, thank you for your question. What, what type of assignment one has to submit? Okay, thanks for your question. Uh, firstly, a clarification, the Moodle link will be available around January 10th, not the 1st, sometime around then. It might be a couple of days before that, but we will, uh, uh, we will also send out some uh, notification when the Moodle link is up. The pre-workshop assignment will also be on Moodle, so when you sign up, you will be able to see the assignment and you will have sufficient time, at least two weeks to do the assignment. Uh, it will be of the nature of reading and analyzing a paper, the exact details will be available on Moodle, you will be able to see it when you sign up. You will get a Moodle link when you register online and the registration form will be available on our uh, National Mission website. Registration will be very similar to what you did in this course. Over to you. Uh, I would like to ask one more question, please. Yeah. Hello. Uh, yeah, there is one more question. As uh, you are going to uh, a workshop on educational technology, so uh, w uh, would we uh, would we be able to expect that which kind of uh, research you are going to do? Uh, I hope uh, some learning technology including brain uh, mapping and uh, kind of uh, learning through say some uh, neurons and uh, like uh, these kind of research you are going to do uh, or anything else. Okay, uh, let me just go back to one of the slides. As mentioned in the second point here, the research ideas are in fact coming from you. So, what we are aiming this workshop at? are faculty members who have used some innovative teaching and learning idea or who have developed a tool and you want to convert that into a research study. See, you might have done some idea and you might have thought that students liked it or you may have felt that they learnt more. But these results, if you simply go and tell somebody, they will say that, well, it worked in your class, how do I know it works in mine? So, if you want to share your results in a more systematic manner, you will need to do a research study on this. So, what are the educational research methods in order to take this idea, your idea and convert it into a study is what we will be covering in the workshop. What we will not do are uh, you know techniques for brain research or uh, we will not talk anything about learning theories or even uh, I, the research idea comes from you. So, we would not be saying that you have to do vision tracking or brain research or any other thing here. We will take your idea and help you convert it into an implementable study. Shall we go to the next center? Over and out. We will go to the next center. I think this will be the last center we can take a question from. 1089, please go ahead with your question. Are you uploading that uh, questionnaire for that uh, uh, assignment question? We will upload the question and the means to submit the assignment on the Moodle link once it is available. Uh, when it will be in the first week of January? Middle of January. And as soon as you register on, uh, on the registration form, the Moodle link will be put up and after that you will be able to find out. Uh, the link for the assignment. Okay, over and out. I think that is okay. Thanks. So, back to Professor Gayatandi. If you have any other questions, uh, put them on Moodle and I will pass them on to uh, Professors Murthy and Ayer. Uh, lunch time now. So, let us break for lunch.